Have you all gotten the model? No. no. Today. So we are here just to encourage you um, to tell you that this is the beautiful journey that every child should walk. So count yourself lucky if you're seated in a school, in a class. There are so many others out there who wish to be seated where you are seated today, but they can't because of some many other reasons. Was China? Yes. Are you listening to me? Yes. Now, Jonathan just introduced us. Muliskia jina langu. Ati no. Yes. You are lying again. Okay, na ito Rosbella. Na ito Rosbella. I work for Kenya Red Cross as a first aid instructor and I'm also <laughs> an activist together with Jonathan. Be honest. We are team that is so much against abortion. We are so much against gay and lesbianism. Okay? And we are, we always do our activities in schools, and today we are so privileged to be among you. And within the very few minutes remaining, we are going to discuss a few things on Twitter. So please be attentive. Hey, what's your name? I'm going to talk Please be attentive. Now, if I may ask you girls, what makes you different from boys? What makes you different from boys? No, someone talk to me. I don't want chorus answers. What makes you different from boys? Parts of the body like which one? Breast? Yes? Yes? <laughs> Which private parts? <laughs> you fear. Which private parts? <laughs> yeah, vagina. <laughs> Boys have vagina. <laughs> what else? <laughs> I want you to mention those things. Yes, girls have men, boys don't. Okay. What else makes you different, yeah? Hips. Yes, kila mtu na hips. Yes. Kuna msichana na hips? Yes. Hips. Eh? Kuna mchana na hips? Yes. Whether big or small, you have hips, isn't it? Yes. Eh, and you should be proud of that. Yes. What else? What else? What else distinguishes us from men or boys? Besides, you give birth. 
Okay. Yes. Yeah, that was already said. Does your smile look like the, the boys or the men? No, no. Yeah? You laugh different. You talk different. You don't have a broken voice. Your voice is beams. Yeah? So you see, God created us from, created human beings from his image and likeness. That is in Genesis 1, 27. And he created women after. Meaning we are very special. Every time you look at yourself, you young girl, every time you look at that mirror, always learn to appreciate yourself. Yes. Always learn to appreciate yourself because you were created different. All those things that you've mentioned, they make you so different. They make you so valuable. We are not saying that men are not important, they are not valuable, okay? But we are, we have things that are so special. We are special kind of being. And that should make you so special, that should make you be proud of who you are. And so I wonder why, why with all those things that make you different and special, why do you want to mess your life? Ati ju ukona tu hips apo kidogo ukona matiti kidogo, eh? Ukona kasauti mepim, umezibus, eh? And then you just want to mess your life. You want these boys to play with your body. Please, girls, to onge ukwe. There's time for everything. Sini kwe. There's time to be in school. And there's time to be out there. That is now after you've graduated. You've finished from four. You've gone to college or university. You've graduated. Okay? And now you're ready to make a family. You're ready to start a family. Right now, are you ready to start a family? No, no. Are you ready to get pregnant right now? No, no. So please, girls, <laughs> take care of Cells. And what do I mean by taking care of yourself? With all those things that you've mentioned, which makes you so different and so unique and special, learn to guard them. Okay? Don't allow boys to touch you anyhow. Okay? At the right time, God makes everything beautiful. That is what the Bible tells us. At the right time. But size of your shulevi, please guard your body. Take care of yourself. Okay? Don't jog and don't allow boys to touch you anyhow. Because if they touch you anyhow, Ganza kusikia mwili fani, sindio? So if you start feeling kitwevi, the next thing that will come in, itakuwa ni sex. Sinikweli? And are we ready for sex now? No. Are we ready for sex now? No. Sex iko na wakati wa, okay? After we soma, we graduate. Do you know your parents will be so proud to graduate and after graduation, you wear your gown, eh? You wear your shirt. It feels so good for a parent. But say you answer questions, answer them, boys. We are going to go to the house. We are going to And then the next thing is sex. And then the next thing is pregnancy. And then the next thing is dropping out of school. We don't. We don't even want to hear about abortion. Okay? Because that is a no, a big no. Sasawa. So before to figure your story, you can story of abortion. Let's avoid sex. Na kabisa sa easy na sa na sa easy. To cover more. This is your time to say no. Atukata you pendwe. We pendwa na upendeke. Sasawa. But it doesn't mean you keep pendwa. Lazima sex he follow. Hiyo ni uongo ya shetani. 
So guard all those things that you mentioned that you have that are different from boys. boys. That is what makes you so unique, so special, and so valuable. Your parents have put you, you here for a reason. You are lucky. You are here at this particular time. There are others who really wish to be here, but they could. They can't afford fees and so many other things. Sindio. But where you may put your opportunity ya kusoma. Nini inakuzu ya kusoma. Soma kabisa mpaka mwisho wa kusoma kama kuna mwisho. But I don't think kama kuna mwisho wa kusoma. But, I, but at least the basics, wewe ufanya nini? Kipata opportunity, soma mpaka mwisho. But for now, sex is no. Sasawa? Yes. So let's not even discuss abortion. Because the moment you say no to sex, there will be no abortion. Sasawa? But if, if it happens, God forbid, again, please do not abort. Look at those pictures, those cards that you've been given. Look at those models that you've been given. See, we are not mzuri sana. We are not pretty sana. A very nice being. And you may formed in your own womb. The thing that makes you so special and so unique. So why should you want to kill it? not abort, okay? There are so many other places you can go to for rescue. There are so many people you can talk to. But do not go the abortion way. It's wrong. It's a sin. You are killing. So whenever you see, keep those models safe, they'll always remind you of this day. They'll always remind you of who you are. You are created in the image and likeness of God. Ukazaliwa, imagine, ukawekwa kwa tumbo ya mama yako, ukakaa kama hiyo kitu umeshika, ukaendelea kukoba. Can you show them the other, the bigger one? Please bring them. Look at this big one. From that tiny one in Meshika, then how do you start even killing such a being? Yes, mtoto ukai hivi tumboni. Uyu sasa karibu anazaliwa. Yee, ananyonya kidole. Hii ya waiti ni pauda tumempaka. Si mtoto upako wa pauda? Manukato mzuri. Maintain skin yake. Sidiyo? So please girls. We are just here with one word. Take care of your self. Guard those beautiful things that God created you with. And denied boys. Sasawa, you are a special being. Na tunawapenda sana. And your mana tumekuja leo. Tumeza tu kuwazungumzia. Kusu mambo ya sex. Let's not do it at this point in time. There are better things we can do. There are better things we can engage ourselves in. Let's treasure this moment when we are in school. Sasawa. So unless my colleagues have something to add. Please come. Anything to encourage the girls? Hello. Thank you very much. Boy, I'm a woman. So, kitu nje mimi ningetaka ku kuambia hata nimekosa wazi unajua venye mko asupu ninaangalia hivi naona eh mko wa rembo so hiyo urembo yenyewe yenye ninaona juu just maintain it how uta maintain aje maintain your virginity Sawa. 
kuambia ni vizuri ku maintain our virginity. Yeah. Mnaona hata hata hakuna mwanaume mwenye anezataka apate mtaro. Let, let us be you. Sindio. Ukienda Thank you.